Greetings and welcome back. So in my first video, I showed you a, a, a super defiant helicopter's receiver that I had and I'm gonna be working on. So this is the donor receiver. And as you can see, this is a, uh, this is sketchy. This is really sketchy. It's, it's rusted. I'm afraid of touching this for fear of me getting, having to have a, a tetanus shot. Well, anyways, so this is the, the donor receiver and I'm gonna be working on this. I'm gonna be taking parts from this receiver or maybe, maybe sanding this and painting this and getting this to work. I'm not sure what I wanna do yet. So just wanted to give you a quick overlook of uh, both receivers and my plans of maybe getting something to work between those two. And like I said, this one is in really horrible shape. I'm not sure where the previous owner kept this, but it looks, it looks bad. Uh, maybe I can, like I said, use some of these parts. The inside is not too bad. If you take, if you uh, take a look at the first video, I talked about this transformer right here. You can see this transformer is a lot different than the previous transformer, and I have to believe the the other helicopters. I'm not sure if the most likely the transformer blew up and they replaced it with the a bigger transformer that's why they needed that dropping resistor but this is what the transformer should look like a lot smaller than the other one the inside doesn't look as bad It doesn't look like it was messed with. And in the previous video, I did point this out that this wire was not connected in the proper location. It was feeding, the, going in there somewhere. The big difference, I'm in the shop now, it's a lot quieter. Don't hear any crows or airplanes. Here's the crystal. Take this out. Oh, we can hear the crows out there. The Hattacrafters crystal filter frequency 455 KC. We got a we got a lot of crows today. It's a nice beautiful day today. It's labeled, it's labeled crystal. I wonder why they use the Nocto Falcon instead of a two pin. Is it in there? What's in there? Oh, this is really rusted. <clears throat> It's not as bad as the previous receiver, but the outside is just, it needs a good sanding. Main tuning, does this still work? Okay. Uh, band spread, this still works? Oh, I don't think it does. What's it? It's spinning. Nothing, Captain. Oh, it's missing these little fins. Not sure why they took them off. Not sure what the previous user did with the with this. Maybe it was in a, some sort of rack mount.
See these plastic covers? How they get warped? This one just completely melted. Jeez, look at that. See, these are the correct type screws. The other one had those flathead slot screws. I'm gonna have to get a tetanus shot after I finish messing with this receiver. Let me put a bit of rest so you can see. I also noticed on the top. The previous owner did cut a little slot here. Was it so he can lift it up? I'm not sure why, because it comes with a little lip right here where you can just lift it up. He did the same thing over here, which is kind of odd. I'm not sure what he was trying to do. It just looked like it's been baked in the... So look at them zoom in. Beautiful rust. Look at that. Love it. <laughs> Overall, not bad. It's it's all there. Let me flip it around so you can see the back. I believe these receivers weigh about what fifty some odd pounds. Got your external switch, speaker. You got your 500 ohm and 5000 ohm. Oh, the serial number's a lot um, smaller on this. this. Maybe this is a lot older. 5485. Is that a zero? Your antenna. I mean, they're beautiful if you if you ask me. It's nicely put together. So unfortunately, it's missing some these little wings back here. Hmm. Let me flip it over. Oh, I gotta take these screws off. All right, let me take these screws off. Give me a minute. I don't want to bore you with taking off the screws. I'll be right back. See, from the previous video on the other Helicrafters, look at the cover. Different, different cover. You know, I think I might just go ahead and... Oh, look at that. Jeez. Lovely. I think I should be wearing a face mask. See, look at that transformer. That's the correct transformer. Interesting. Uh, compared to the other Helicrafters, this one has, these are look like modern. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. The other helicopters had dog bone resistors. These, what, what, what's going on here? Let me zoom in. Yeah, look at that. Huh. Yeah, these resistors are are newer. That's 
interesting right there, this capacitor here. <coughs> You know, it's a lovely day outside. It's a day after Thanksgiving. Beautiful weather, nice breeze, beautiful sunshine. Everyone's indoors. Eating leftover turkey. Just a beautiful day outside. going on here. There's a lot of waxy capacitors in here. <laughs> What is this? This is the, is this the BFO? Let me see. No, that's the phasing, the crystal phasing. Oh, look at that, look at that patina on that thing. Yikes. Let's take a look. I love it. Look at the, pay attention to the markings on this. Number three. It's like the builder's little markings when they put it together. How cool is that? Look at this. Jeez, look at that. Um, uh, this touches. Oh, no. I'm beginning to think maybe this is a better candidate of a receiver, better condition. than the other rust bucket. Gonna go ahead and remove all the capacitors, replace all the resistors. Maybe just use the chassis from the other. Yeah, the crafters, let me flip it around for you. Not too bad. Well, at least it doesn't look has been molested. It's been left alone to rust. Look at these capacitors, how they bulge. You said bulge. <laughs> <clears throat> Is that a capacitor I see down there? I think I'm gonna take it apart. Look at this. Just this thing. Leave some comments in the in the video. Tell me what you think. This receiver 
for the rust bucket. I'm thinking of using this, the internal, the internals of this receiver and the chassis from the other rust bucket. I mean, this one already has the transformer already. So maybe out of two receivers, I can make one functional, make one the donor receiver. God, the more I move this receiver, the more a bunch of rust falls off all over the place. Yeah, but what do you expect? You know, these are great receivers. We can make this work. Get some light in there. I want to document as much as I can. Because once I start think, start taking things apart, sometimes I forget and I have to revert back to the schematic. You know, sometimes the schematic doesn't really tell you much. Because they have some, some of them have different mods or updates. And sometimes you can tell what the previous owner did. I'm not sure how many of you out there have one of these types of receivers. I mean, do you, is it worth, I'm sure it's worth putting together and saving and fixing and bringing it back to life. What's your experience? Here, let me flip it back up again. Stuff is falling in. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? There's the crow, my friend. I think it's a beautiful receiver, if you ask me. Oh, are these warped? Sometimes these dials, because they've been sitting so long in the sun, or they tend to warp. This one looks fine. You know, I wonder what the what the history of this receiver, who owned it, where was it used? Just fascinating. Okay. That's enough for me yapping it up. So this is the Helicrafters SX25. I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to make, um, out of these two receivers, make something work. And we'll get this working together. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like what I, what you see. Please comment. Give me some advice. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Until later. 
See ya. Bye.